Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga playthrough. Last time we uh, found Cacletta, we kicked her butt, and to top it all off, Peasley kicked Fawful's butt. So our two main villains are kind of uh, they kind of suck. <laughs> But uh, we're not done yet. We still have one last loose den to take care of. Uh, the Bean Star kind of went insane, and uh, now we have to retrieve it. Before we do, though, we have one little puzzle here. This puzzle can be kind of annoying. You basically need to time it so you get these rats in the electric generators. What makes this tough is that each shot becomes more difficult. Like right there, I should have had that. And that. And if you uh, don't get this done, you have to pretty much just do it over. Okay, so we have one left. Let's see how he moves. Okay, good. I didn't hit him. It's always better if you don't hit them. Because if you hit them just, like, into the pole, but not in the middle of the pole, like, you lose a shot and you have to do the whole thing over again, so... And I screwed it up. Another thing you could do... And I think you have to do it like this, so you can keep getting the electricity moving from all the different poles. I was going to say, one thing you could do is uh, do the last one first, but no, it won't allow you to do that, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. We did it flawless that time. Of course. You always say it when, like, you mess something up the first time, but then, like, you get it first try the next time. It's like, I could have easily done that if they just gave me one more attempt. <laughs> just a silly, silly thing to happen. But yeah, let's go ahead and save our game, just so we never have to do that minigame ever again. And let's see what's inside the generator room. Actually, hold on. Yep! <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. The room continues to the left and right. There's probably some stuff in here, and sure enough, there was. Oh god, these guys are here. The bean star suddenly came falling down out of nowhere. It was shocking, see? But having treasure fall out of the sky sure is lucky. Yeah, that's right, very lucky. Only Popple, the shadow thief, could get such results, see? You're amazing, boss. Rookie? Yes, boss? Uh, unless my eyes are screwy. Look there! It's red and green from the chateau! Well, boo! Boo to you, I say! Why does this always happen? This isn't funny, see? Rookie? Yes, boss? These two numbskulls seem to like the old ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Time to scrap again, see? Yes, boss? I love how they actually moved it out of the way. Okay, so yeah, we have the uh, Popple and Rookie fight again. One thing I gotta say, I really love this battle theme right here. Um, I actually forgot that, yeah, they had a unique battle theme uh, until I, you know, rewatched the editing for the last time we fought these guys. And it's just like, wow, you know what? This battle theme is actually pretty damn cool, and it is. Like, this is a really cool battle theme. And I like the uh, remix that's actually... Well, I mean... Is it... Yeah, I guess it would still be a remix of the theme in the 3DS version of this game, too. It just sounded really, really good. But yeah, Popple has a really good theme. We're also kind of kicking these guys' butts, too. I think they have more HP than they did before, for sure, but... 
still though. Just doing a lot of damage to these guys. Popple's already gone. That's why I always try to go for Popple first, because uh, I think if you just go for Rookie first and he gets eliminated, um, Popple actually runs away, and I don't think you get the experience from him. So that's why I try to go for... Oh, if I stop sucking, that's why I gotta go for Popple first, just get rid of him and get that experience. For sure. You might still get the experience anyway, but I don't know for absolute fact. But yeah, we have some Bowser rage problems right now. <laughs> Still not too difficult, though. I think in general he takes more hits than what uh, Rookie does. But still, like I feel like maybe his attacks are a little easier to dodge. Well, at least the fire is anyway. The hammers are counter hit or miss depending on how well you can read the perspective of the attack. And there he goes. 300 experience, not as much as Cacoletta, but still, it's a decent amount. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Man, that Bean Star is not happy. Oh no, my treasure, it's gonna fly away, see? Popple and there goes us. But Bowser still has it. Oh, I remember. I remember. I, I am. I am Bowser the King. Oh, what a bad time to remember. <laughs> and oh no, the Bean Star is split into four pieces, and the four pieces are now falling to Earth. So now we're in East Bean Bean, Oho Oasis. And Luigi's all alone. Mario! Mario. Wow. Oh boy. Poor Mario. Getting wrecked by those crabs. Okay, so we're in a new part of the world. Let's go ahead and save our game, first of all. Cause you know, when a bunch of stuff's hap when a bunch of stuff happens, saving is the next logical step. That's the way it seems like it is to me anyway. An old tape machine is here. Will you play it? Sure. It has been a week since our Oho Civilization Research Expedition reached this island. We have named the mysterious creatures native to this island the Ohoji. It is strange. They use the same spoken vocabulary that we do, but none comprehend what they mean. That's stupid. <laughs> Why did I waste my time here? I never know. <laughs> okay, so we have a bit of a puzzle here. And we're going to need to figure out how we're going to solve this puzzle. Because we are quite literally stranded on an island right now. In fact, just to show it off. Bean Bean Map. Yeah, that's where we are. That island. Kind of out in the distance there. That is where we landed. So we have to find a way to uh, move on from here. If this is Oho Oasis, far out in Oho Ocean, then that must mean... What that mean? No idea. You, you were the one talking. <laughs> How much is a chance? Oh, I see that. More chuckle beans. 
buried in the water. It has been three weeks since our research expedition arrived here. The time, it speeds by. Today is we made a most surprising discovery. We approached a red Ohoji and happened to ignite it in a bizarre accident. The moment this red Ohoji was touched by the flames, it turned into a monster. This monster Ohoji attacked us, as might any creature that dislikes being set on fire. Unfortunately, the researcher who was attacked then transformed into an Ohoji. We must conclude that it is best not to approach an Ohoji if one plans to set it afire. Rather, it is better to stand a short distance away and set fire to it if one wishes. Surely the blue Ohoji will respond to the same stimuli and also transform into monsters. It may invite trouble, but clearly this must be researched more. Science demands it. Interesting. I am learning absolutely nothing from those tapes. <laughs> okay, well... I think it's mostly flavor text, or at the very least, kind of showing you like what's exactly gonna be happening in the uh, coming... Uh, coming minutes, I guess. What do you have to say? Are we strange? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on, guys. Okay, got a 54 uh, that time. I had a really bad start where I only got like 11 on the first one, but then I got like, uh, I believe, 20 and 23 after the fact. So, uh, yeah, not too bad, I guess, but still. Nothing amazing. Nothing amazing at all. Look at the blue ones. Let's talk to you. Are spirits delicious? Okay, you're you're freaking me out, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just can't get behind that. I mean, I suppose it's a fair question, I guess. I mean, who in their right mind would actually know that? But, you know. There's a time and a place where I just have to go, you know, I, I need to get the hell away from here. Me troubled. Can't make machine speak. Sounds like a personal problem. This fire palace, that way thunder palace. Fire palace, eh? You love a good fire palace. I tired. I take nap. <laughs> I sleep longer than I need to. <laughs> what you do if you meet big firebrand in room up ahead, huh? What you do? I don't know, talk about the weather of some kind? I don't know. It's really up in the air when you think about it. I am me. And I am he. He! <laughs> okay. Enough messing around. Let's uh, bust this open. Welcome, yes, welcome. Welcome to the Fire Palace. I have been waiting for you. I have waited many long years, smoldering like embers. For you, I have kept waiting and waiting and WAITING! In fact, the last time anyone came through here was... 3,000 years ago. Oh, waiting just burns me up, but enough about that. So why have you come? Huh? You, uh, this place? Um, this place of power? It is, uh, this place is... Now wait a second, just what kind of place was this anyway? What was it that I was planning on doing? Am I allowed in here? Huh? Wait just a minute. Where am I? Who am I? Hmm, I guess having no guests for 3,000 years takes a toll. Everything just seems to slip one's mind. Har de de har, how humorous. So... I guess you can do what you want. I won't stop you. Okay. Oh, wait, I just remembered! This is the famed Fire Palace, where we teach the ways of the blistering hand power. 
Yes, it is all coming back. I have been waiting for you. You want the hand power, right? You want to master the fiery hand power known as the firebrand, do you not? You do, right? 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 You do not need to tell me. Your pose says it all. I shall instruct you in the fine arts of the firebrand. First, press the R button to select your hand power. Hold the A button until you have charged up enough energy. Then release the button! Only then shall you shoot forth a mighty blast of flame. Perhaps you should try it once. Fire. Mario mastered the firebrand. I see no problem with your skill. If you just do this action near something flammable, you should have no problems. Surely this skill will open new paths in your life, wouldn't you agree? So, farewell! Okay, um, bye. <laughs> nice for meeting you, I guess. But we do have the, uh, we do have the hand power now. Which I guess is something cool. We can light these torches. Actually, I'm kind of curious now about that story they were talking about. Walk over here. Come on. Whee! Oh, shoot! I didn't realize you could fight him. Uh, so yeah, we have the hand powers. We can use them in battle now, too. Okay, they get healed by that, so we don't want to... I didn't realize you actually fought these guys. Thunder scary. Thunder hurts. Okay, so... Unfortunately... I don't think we can do much against this until we have the... Uh, thunder move, which... By process of elimination, you know what we're gonna happen or what's gonna happen with that. You took my experience points. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Okay, so now that we know that, I wanna try work doing that on a guy outside, one of the blue guys. Okay, I was trying against a blue guy, but it's not working for some reason. So maybe to initiate the battle, you have to do it with the same color or something. That'd be my guess anyway. So let's go ahead and just grab the other one while I'm thinking about it. This Thunder Palace, that way Fire Palace. I t yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured you'd be tired. That seems to be the case with you, uh, you lunatics. To you who have wandered into Thunder Palace, these are the training grounds for the chosen few. I know not how you found your way here, nor how you managed to enter this place, but I have no business with you, and you have none with me. Depart post haste. Well, I disagree. Crackety! Who, who dares to touch the great Thunderhand Spark? Impertinent fool! And yet, you have touched the great Thunderhand Spark, but still stand before me, so... Perhaps you have the qualities needed to master the galvanic Thunderhand technique. Very well, I shall instruct you in the art of the Thunderhand. First, press the R button to select your hand power. Thunder. 
Hold the A button until you have charged up enough energy. Then release the button. Only then shall you release a burst of thunder and lightning. Perhaps you should try it once. Luigi mastered the thunder hand. Hmm, very well done. It is wise to use this power when an apparent conductor of electricity is nearby. You have done it. It is done. You have released me. Well, yay! We saved them, I guess. Kind of. Maybe. Oh, right, I have to go the other door. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. Because I am very, very, very curious. Ebity, ebity. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm gonna use hand power on him this time. Think! If fire hurt me, I'd take double damage from fire. I hurt already! So I think. <laughs> okay. Only four experience, though. I think I am myself reborn. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I guess, something you can do. Again, I didn't realize you could actually do that against those guys. I guess I never tried it, because they seem like just normal NPCs. But then I listened to the tapes, and they're like, Oh, you can do some with these guys. So it's like, oh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just do that, then. Oh, boy. Wow, learning new things about this game almost every single time I play it. Because as I mentioned, I think at the beginning of this Let's Play, uh, I did retro achievements for this game on the uh, website retroachievements.org. And, like, there's a lot of s side quests for this game that I was unaware actually existed that gave some pretty cool items. That's how I actually learned about the... Uh, the bros rock and then that um, beanlet quest and everything. Stuff I just never did in my first playthroughs of this game. But then, coming back to it, yeah, there's like a lot of content here, which really surprised me. Uh, but anyway, now that we have these hand powers, we can uh, use them to interact with these objects here. And that'll give us a way to exit this island. So we're going to go inside this pipe. I think immediately we'll be greeted with a uh, save block. And yeah, I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this. So uh, yeah, there we go. So this has been Slim Kirby. It's been uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week for some more episodes as we uh, find out what exactly is going to continue on with this plot because we definitely just completely destroyed the villains of this game, so what exactly is there left to do? We'll find out next time. Later, folks.